Namaste. Good morning. So today we have sharing from uh, Niti Didi. Namaste Niti Didi. A brief introduction from my part, then you can please your share Didi. So Niti Didi, as we all know, uh, uh, Mrs. Niti Chirakshas Day, she worked as a visiting faculty at Sanjeevari Engineering College and Shivaji Rao uh, John Saleh Engineering College. Part of a, she is part of a small group, Sattva, who help people understand the significance of eating natural food. She joined the introductory UHP FDP program in July 2020 and further in October 2021. UHP 2 in uh, October 2021. Then she has been actively participating in very many volunteering activities, as we see including sharing content in the online offline workshops. She's a member of the Marathi translation, Gujarati translation, member of the video editing, and many, many other projects and activities in USB. So with this very brief introduction, I welcome Neeti Didi for the sharing in the morning session. Didi, over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Bhaiya. Namaste to uh, all the co-explorers. Namaste, Sharmila Didi. My name is uh, Nidhi Chirak Sachade. My husband is there in my family and my daughter is also there. Uh, I live in Dombivali, which is in Mumbai. And uh, because here uh, most of our relatives are uh, there around us, so uh, it so happens that um, all these uh, relatives of mine keep visiting us. Um, and I could see that when people are around me, I am uh, much all right. Uh, still, I am having this issue uh, of feeling uh, restless and lonely when nobody is around me but that I am working upon. I did my uh, first UHV workshop in July 2020 because I uh, was supposed to conduct a UHV 2 subject for that semester. Our college uh, was the Autonomous Institute and hence our principal sir had decided that we will add this subject. And uh, I had the book with me uh, before I joined the workshop and uh, I had gone through some of the uh, video lectures by R.R. Gore sir, uh, not very uh, detailed ones, but very few just to get that glimpse of what this is all about. And because we were supposed to prepare the whole syllabus in the form of uh, presentations as well as uh, video lectures. Uh, I just depended on the book, but once I went through the workshop, I could see that um, there is much more to understand uh, with this subject than what I had perceived about it. Uh, with that, the understanding uh, emerging out of um, exercise one and two, briefly what I would like to mention is, uh, with this whole uh, process of the content, uh, volunteering activity, sharing, uh, listening, I am able to see that uh, life is worth living by more and more understanding myself. I always wanted to be very fulfilling in the relationship and in the childhood I had this idea that the moment I step in uh, at somebody's house, uh, then uh, like a magic, this uh, happiness should spread and in return then uh, people over there uh, should offer me gifts and with that I will also be happy. So I always wanted to make myself and other happy. But uh, for that, relationships are to be understood. Uh, this was the takeaway 
after I uh, went through this whole process. And uh, till now, I could notice that I was expecting that uh, once a certain feeling is worked upon and once that feeling is there in me, it is done. Now my job is done. Uh, relationships will be all right then. But now I am able to see uh, it is not the thing to be done once. I have to continuously um, work upon uh, myself and I can be of help to the other uh, in terms of uh, just being there with them, accepting them and whatever possible in terms of understanding that only I can share. Uh, I always earlier focused um, so much on physical facility. Now also that is happening, but now I'm able to notice that, uh, yes, how the focus is getting shifted uh, from seeing the feeling part to uh, just working on the physical facility part. Uh, one more thing which has helped me during all of this process is earlier I used to be very much worried about the imbalances taking place uh, at the level of nature. I would consider them as imbalances because um, there was uh, no idea about uh, this harmony which is there in the nature. But now, slowly and gradually, I am uh, getting that relief uh, within me that I have to work on ensuring this understanding part and uh, more and more work done on me uh, will uh, help me only to stay in harmony. There is no problem at all at the level of nature. Uh, it is I who used to imagine that there is so much problem and uh, that became a kind of obsession for me to convince people that what they are doing is not right and we all should be very much aware about the environment part. Uh, and for that, I was ready to, to take uh, any uh, action, going into a position, uh, punishing people, and uh, all of that was uh, my imagination. So now um, I will go with the um, exercise part. Uh, exercise one, step one. Uh, when I started uh, for the first time with this exercise, uh, observing my imagination was a uh, little not possible kind of task. Uh, then uh, I took that help of the exercise which is there in the book where it helps us to uh, find out the major points where I am paying attention to. So. Uh, with little efforts, I started noting down uh, like in every five minutes, what is that topic which I am thinking about? Then slowly in the second uh, morning session, uh, then I could see that uh, I am able to observe my thoughts. Then it uh, slowly and gradually only uh, now it is becoming possible for me to see the imagination, but uh, this distinction of uh, having desires, thoughts and ex expectations separately, all the time it is not happening. When I sit and I decide that I want to do, then I can write it. Uh, but uh, right now while I am uh, sharing this, I am able to see that uh, something is there which I am able to notice that it is there. Earlier, I always thought that it is uh, automotive mode. Uh, whatever happens outside, automatically I go with it. Now uh, that has changed. 
every moment it is not happening of course but uh, earlier the frequency was very very less now it has increased uh, the difference now is i am able to see the imagination and also there are many times in a day which appear to me as if it is blank it means i am not aware at that time blank in terms of i am doing the activity mechanically and it is happening i am not aware uh, many a times now also i see this difference that within very less time i have created that whole story in me uh, about something it it is uh, re- like it is mostly about the past uh, i keep on recalling the incidents of past and sometimes i am trying to seek happiness with it and sometimes i just uh, keep telling myself that uh, in the past so much has happened which was not right hence i am not happy now uh but now what is happening is uh i get aware that this is what is happening and i can bring back myself to uh, the present uh, part uh, that shift uh, has taken place in this part of the morning session and now the another big challenge which i always always was facing was having reactions for my own imagination i used to get irritated angry restless and i was not at all ready to face to see uh, what is happening in me and i was considering myself as the mm, very worst human being who can have this much disturbed and uh, uh, in a position kind of imagination but now this time i am seeing these reactions also have reduced it is not completely gone but it is uh, significantly reduced and that is very much harmonious to me now uh, with the second step this uh, gradual shift has been taking place in me that i am able to observe the feelings and um, i am able to uh, see that uh, immediately with the third step that whenever it is a natural feeling i feel that uh, shift in me uh, that i am very comfortable and uh, whenever it is not natural immediately that uncomfort uneasiness is felt earlier it used to take very longer time to understand what kind of feeling is going on am i comfortable or not but now that feeling part uh, i think it is uh, working and with that uh, some of the observations are uh, when this proposal on trust i had heard i thought uh, that yes um, it is very obvious that people want to make me happy and prosperous it is very obvious i thought but then later on um, now i am seeing if somebody says something to me the very very first thing which comes to me is of doubt uh, why did they say like that why they are behaving like that what is the intention uh, behind this uh now that i am able to observe that it is and it is uh, anybody it is not that with family members or outsiders it, like uh, with family members i am assured no with even very close relations of mine like my father i am able to see that i have doubts about uh, things which he is doing um Uh, which is relevant to me or uh, with someone and i keep on asking myself why he is doing so why can't he see that this is not the right thing to do 
this is not right for me and he is not uh, concerned about me and hence he is doing so this took a very long time for me to see that this is what going on in me about him i always assumed earlier that hmm, i am having trust on my father there are very very few people uh, upon whom i have trust and he is one among them but now i am able to see that it is not so so in the workshop we ask this question how many people you have trust on intention and that count is uh, one or two only but i think uh, that one or two is also because uh, that checking part is not completely with done with uh, them uh, the second a uh, concern which i could notice in me is with the feeling part is i am uh actually struggling with ensuring respect for me many times and now because i am not able to do right evaluation of myself as well as the other it is always a uh, kind of under evaluation for me over evaluation for others there are few times when it happens the opposite way that i over evaluate myself and this over evaluation also is in terms of um, age part i always uh, over evaluate myself when i see uh, people younger to me and i just assume that no no they are not having this understanding and it is i who is having understanding so uh, now i see the way with which i talk to them is very different than uh, how i interact with elder people so that uh, respect part is what i have to work upon this is my observation with this exercise session other feelings where i am finding it challenging is the feeling of affection now i am see able to see this uh, relationship of trust respect and then affection because trust and respect are i am missing out hence uh, ensuring that affection in continuity is also uh, in geo party like i take the responsibility of someone for some time and when the doubt on trust comes i just leave that uh, relationship part leave means i say like i can't work here for this particular part so better uh, no i stop taking interest in it so i leave that matter now i am not taking effort uh, for this continuous fulfillment because uh, this incompetence is there to uh, do right evaluation so uh, these are the three feelings i think i have to repeatedly work upon feeling of love is very very um, uh, desirable to me to work upon but i have seen uh, now noticed not seen noticed many a times that i am struggling with uh, people around me within me and then how can i work upon feeling of love it is just that when the proposal is heard or shared i am very comfortable with it that's it uh, beyond that so much work has to be done the fourth step is that i am able to decide the feelings that i have uh, 100% responsible uh, i don't consider that though i am but uh, many a times i blame um uh, it outside that it is people and situation um but uh, whenever observed like whenever i take that pause i remember once it so happened that i was uh, scolding my daughter about something uh, that she had not completed her uh, homework and at that time uh, i was scolding because uh, within me this 
contradiction was going on that lots of work on my side is pending about this that that and with that contradiction i reacted like that with her and uh, whenever like i am done with the day to day course and at that time even if she has not completed her task i am very okay with that so this two uh, parts i have observed with um, many of other relatives of mine that i decide the feeling but uh, if i am able to observe then i am okay else i uh, just blame them that they were not able to do they are like that so this uh, uh, i got this term from my daughter only uh, she was describing someone from her school and she said they are complaint box and it striked me that i have also become like that uh, and surprisingly i did not have any reaction about this part that i am complain box i thought okay that i have noticed that i am a complain box let me work upon it and of course i want to take effort uh, with this part with the five, fifth step uh, the basis of making decision is most of the time my assumption uh, understanding is yet to take place but uh, the difference what i have noticed now this time is uh, that i have started noticing these assumptions uh, as we go ahead i think i will be able to present that list of assumptions uh, but right now um, i have this assumption that people should always tell me the truth and uh, what i could see was uh, i am expecting everyone to tell me the truth but uh, i myself am uh, saying these lies just to avoid any uh, conflict uh, with my um, with my spouse for example so i remember if he asks me that uh, did you take medicine and like very promptly i would say yes i took even though i have not taken i will just say it to him because i don't want to uh, hear his comments after that he will ask me did you take food i will immediately say yes yes i took the food because i don't want to get into his scolding he he never like Uh, scolds very harshly but he will tell me see this is how you are so ir- irresponsible towards your own self and like that he will keep on adding so i don't want to listen i just want to avoid that and hence i would say yes i do so my assumption is that uh, speaking the truth is what everyone should do and now when i have started observing i am see in that um, and based on that only my decision uh, i take that uh, because they said this truth they are uh, a good person and because they did not they are not good this is uh, the uh, thing happens with each of my assumption i then label people that this is what is nice about them and this is very bad about them this labeling part now is getting slowly reduced because every label i attach uh, it to the other person then uh, after some time i am able to see that i am also in the same category but now that reaction is again uh, reducing earlier i used to like uh, literally curse myself that i am so bad but now uh, i am able to see that this is a journey and slowly uh, it, it will be worked upon the sixth step feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence are naturally acceptable yes with relationship i am seeing that uh, uh, change whenever it is naturally acceptable feeling i am comfortable uh, of harmony i am uh, 
yet to understand it at four levels like uh, harmony in me is getting worked upon harmony in family is getting worked upon but harmony in society and nature uh, is not yet worked upon it is just in me in the form of information so i am not able to develop that confidence in me uh, specifically for that society part now with nature part it is little okay uh, because uh, right now seeing the circumstances around me of disharmony and uh, increasing incidences of crime and all of the things i still have this doubt in me of how this is going to set right but at the same time whenever um, i take that pause and i take uh, my effort into consideration about it that with this field of education it is going to happen some day then i am little okay with it uh, otherwise um, with any news about any happening i used to get very disturbed earlier now i try to place it in me that this happened because the person who did it was trying to seek the happiness and he was not having the right thing about the happiness so he did that and if uh, i take effort in this direction some day that person who did the crime will also get these proposals from somewhere and then that possibility for him or her will open and things will be okay this whole process takes time if i give that pause and i resolve it otherwise it keeps disturbing me for uh some good number of days uh that i have noticed and coexistence is naturally acceptable but i am yet to place it right in me uh very small small glimpse i get about it but uh i think i have to invest time in placing that part in me the uh thing which i have observed is whenever my effort is directed towards coexistence i get that glimpse about coexistence whenever it is not directed whenever i give that excuse to myself that oh no i am so worried so i can't do this work no, i am stressed so i can't do this work and i uh, step back in taking the effort then i Uh, get into more and more disharmony and uh, i doubt on this coexistence so now what i have understood is i have to take effort significantly in investing my time right then uh, uh, this is going to set right in me and that is how that uh, seven step is i think that um, to ensure it in continuity uh i will have to take the effort in this direction um and for that this continuous effort is required uh this was about exercise 1 uh my conclusion about exercise 1 is that this first step i have to work upon uh with first second third fourth uh whenever is followed right uh then uh, i am in harmony with myself and that reflects in my uh, outside uh, interactions also this fifth part uh, i think i have started notice noticing fifth step now i have that uh, list of assumptions and i just have to keep uh, evaluating them but major task i have to do in 1 2 3 4 uh, this is what i have um, concluded for myself now with uh, exercise 2 uh, observing self body and interaction the first step 
i exist i am very sure about it uh, with body i have to uh, still see the form or listen to my voice uh, this is what i have to do to notice that it is there but for my uh, existence i think i am uh, pretty much okay with it uh, the second step this information passing is uh, observed observe that it is taking place not all the time of course but uh, that is coming into observation now uh, the third and earlier it was very limiting that um, you know very few in instances where there by where i used to notice that this information exchange is happening now that has slightly increased this much i can say about third one i i of course i am taking decision every time for whatever i want to do with the body uh, once uh, somebody had asked this question about reflex actions i actually was unaware about it before that i may not have read or heard about it or i have forgotten about it even if i have studied it in school but after that i started observing but i could see that um, it is always i who takes that decision that i am sure about uh, whatever i have observed till that i am sure that it is i who is taking the decision to uh, instruct the body or to read the sensation from the body whenever i am not aware i miss and i miss that uh, i did that but whenever i am like into it i can notice that yes it is happening from me with this fourth step uh this difference in self and body this distance in self and body i have started noticing uh better than what it was happening in the previous exercise sessions but um uh, yet i think it is going to take time in having that clarity in me about it uh, uh i i am able to recall like uh whenever i want to uh go with that first step that i want to see that i am there so the first thing which i do is i close my eyes then um i sit at idle place like it, i sit idle at a place and uh, still when i am having this imagination about me somewhere i see my face there the way i look in the mirror Uh, so that clear distinction of me and body is yet not happening i consider myself as me and body attached uh, like that i consider i think that is uh, confusing for me but i can work slowly and gradually i think so for fifth step uh, my interaction with the body or the world outside is by way of sensation and i read the sensation by decision give meaning to it and it depends on my sanskar uh, so for this part i have uh, prepared a list of my sanskar uh, i will read that uh, the first sanskar i have noted is i expect things to happen my way every time i don't know that can be considered as sanskar but uh, this is regular pattern i am observing then the second one is i continuously seek appreciation recognition from people and for that i take uh, so much of effort major focus uh while i am doing something is about what is going to be the outcome and then how people are going to perceive things about me with that uh the third one is i am considering myself victim of situations and people's bad behavior and that is very strong i then justify that it it were they 
who did that wrong thing to me and i have noticed that i um, time to time reinforce it by recalling that part just to tell myself that i was actually good but they did uh, that to me and hence i am like this uh, this part is there of course that i am body other one is also body and um, um, with my daughter now i am able to see that um, i get frightened sometimes uh, just to uh, have this imagination uh, what if something happens to her um, but this time i thought let me give it a try okay imagine the worst of it imagine it uh whatever you want to imagine about her and uh i thought of her major injury to her uh she is uh, not conscious like that also i imagined and then for me the um outcome was i could see that still she is going to be there even if not in the body form but she is going to be there and now i think that worry part has a little reduced not gone but it is little reduced uh, about my father also this happened i uh, always was worried about his well being uh, so very much and uh, i used to get nervous just by having this feeling that what if he is not there and one day it so happened that i was Uh, talking about him to someone and they just said what is his age then i said 67 then he said 67 then um, why you are worrying about him so much three four years of time uh, maybe he is there around us like that he very uh, bluntly said that and uh, i was taken aback and i said oh no now uh, this much is the time remaining why this person only said 3 or 4 years he could have said 10 i always told myself that it is 25 years why has he reduced the time uh, so much anxiety i felt within there was so much of the stress for uh, around 15 20 days i don't remember but it was very long then suddenly one day i thought even if they have mentioned 3 4 years i should consider that as a good amount of time where i can do something for him why i am getting into uh, this tension part now and i think from uh, that day i am uh, thinking on how i can uh, utilize my time with him better and while It, now i give him call every day most of the times so while i am interacting with him over phone also i am seeing that uh, shift in focus uh, like earlier it used to be always worry or um, like that now i just uh, want to ensure that uh, he is okay and i am okay, okay being with him so i keep on checking about my feeling it it used to be a position uh for some duration of time but i think uh now at least i know that i have to work on it uh, that is assuring for me and uh, the list is actually very long uh, but uh, making this list has helped me uh, to see that i have to work Uh, on this um of course i react when the sanskar is based on assumption i think there are very very few sanskars uh, which are in line with the natural acceptance uh, but uh, i can work upon those uh, uh, sanskar and uh, the major uh, part which i have observed this time was no uh, earlier i used to react to my sanskars very much uh and uh, this time i thought let me uh, just face it and uh, uh when i am okay 
and when i notice that it is there uh taking shift back to what is okay is uh, becoming uh, easier to me this part i could notice um the seventh step i am in coexistence in space the body is in coexistence in space um, but about this step uh, while i uh, get the opportunity to uh, have this exploration about the session on existence um, very very little i would say i am able to see the need that i will have to understand the space else uh, i have this expectation from myself that i have to be very uh, natural in all of my activities throughout the day but that uh, is expectation only if i do not take effort here in understanding the space then um, it is not going to happen uh, this also may be just because i have heard it but i see the need now uh, and its intensity has little increased that i have to understand the space and i am getting ready for it this is what i am telling myself that i have to be ready for starting with it then only uh, it is possible for me to continue uh, one more observation i just am adding and then i will conclude uh, i have gone through many school of thoughts um, earlier i after going through uhv i started having some opposition for all of them because i thought they are not helping me to see what is right then the time came when i thought they are trying to be of help to me to at least start with this journey and with uhv i am getting the clarity of what they meant while they said something to me so that positive a uh, kind of shift has happened i would say and uh, this contradiction me in me has reduced to a greater extent contradictions are still there many many are there but i think i am learning it to face it and uh, i want to continue with this journey this is my commitment that i want to continue this time next time next time i don't want to attain any um moksha i just want to continue here whenever it will happen that my understanding is complete that time i want to increase my participation many a times i am not able to participate well this i could notice this time because i always hesitated in taking the responsibility i think in that direction i will have to work this time commit about time the commitment is more and more time now the this time i have started noticing that what are the waste times throughout the day uh, are there and i have just noticed them i am yet to shift from that wasting time to uh, some fulfilling fruitful time but just because i noticed it i think that will become possible for me henceforth and uh, the list is very long to whom i want to thank you uh, i always wanted a very very big family uh, and with uhv that is happening every time i have any kind of conversation with any member of the uhv family it becomes very very fruitful for me and i have this feeling of gratitude for each and every one those who helped and those who helped me to understand um i want to live uh, happily ever after and for that my effort is required uh that i am sure about so thank you so much so i request shamla didi to give her comments and remarks regarding niti did sharing shamla didi over to you जी नमस्ते निधि जी जी दीदी नमस्ते आई हैव ऑलवेज इट इज ऑलवेज नाइस टू हियर योर शेयरिंग 
very honest, very sincere, and very detailed. In fact, I always think that yours is one of the sharings that we would like others to share, um, you know, in a similar fashion, in that much detail. Because the more we look in within, the more we are able to see, that is the first step towards moving in the right direction. So Devi Prasenji was asking, how does it help to see it or make a list? So the, the good part is that in this whole process of exploration, the moment we become aware of something that is not naturally acceptable to us, a thought, a feeling, an assumption that is not naturally acceptable. Once we have started noticing, we notice the disturbance immediately. And this noticing itself is a very prominent hmm. part. If we don't go into reaction and we just notice this, then the next step becomes what to do to get rid of this discomfort. And so you look at your natural acceptance and you see the path which way you need to go. And you move on that path. So becoming aware is the very first step. Until and unless we are aware of these um, shortcomings within or the feelings, the, the assumptions that are not in line with natural acceptance, unless we are aware of what is going on in detail, how will we move forward to making it right or making it come in line with the natural acceptance? In fact, if you see, it goes hand in hand. The moment you start looking within and you notice things, you also start checking with your natural acceptance and then you are able to bring things in line and you can you know, see the harmony. A lot of times the behavior changes, but if we have to ask, how it changed, we may not be able to describe it so well. We may not be able to say what happened or what made me change because when we notice some discomfort, we may start changing the behavior to get back into comfort. But we may not be fully aware of the feeling at that time or the assumption behind it at that time. So I think um, these are all um, stepping, you know, steps to moving in that direction to ultimately be able to be in harmony all the time, you know, at each step, being able to see that this is what, this is where I want to reach and gently moving in that direction. Of course, like we all keep saying, it is a very slow process. And I think, uh, Nidhiji, you have exemplified how each time you're sharing, you are able to go a little step forward. And with all of that, with your responsibility at home, with your daughter, with your father, and others, along with that, you are able to take part in all these volunteering activities. That is really creditable. And I think... Um, this is also one reason why you are able to make these fine, um, you know, note these fine changes within you. So I think, uh, you know, of course, we all have a long way to go, but uh, very nice sharing and all the very best of wishes. I think uh, each time you mentioned that, you know, when you go into reaction or something, Sometimes, like uh, with your daughter, if you're thinking of what would happen if something happens to her, uh, there I would say rather than, you know, try to look at the worst possible scenario, I would say just go with the natural acceptance and look at, you know, re, you know, re see in you as the human being being self and body. And noticing that the body is 
temporary, the self continues. And then, like you said, you know, what you can do now, here and now, with that person, seeing your relationship, seeing your feeling towards that change, you know, being in line with the natural acceptance. There, if our focus is on that, uh, we need not go into another imagination of what is not desirable. There is no need for that. It becomes redundant. So very nice uh, sharing, Nidhiji. Uh, very uh, good to hear you and all the very best of wishes for your further exploration and in all the volunteering activities. All the best. <laughs>